Hello, brave people of the world. Today I'm going to talk about Ukrainian literature, about Ukrainian books translated into English. If you're interested about Ukraine, I strongly recommend you to read some books of Ukrainian literature. Then you will easily understand Ukrainian soul and Ukrainians. So, first of all, I'm very glad that this book was translated into English. The name of the book is Kobzar. Actually, Kobzar is a bard, musician bard, who was singing different song, folk song, and Kobzar always provide uh, his tradition, provide uh, what he could, uh, sing uh, and play to the next generation, to next Kobzar. So Kobzar mean, means multi-string bard who played in Bandura and Kobza, Ukrainian national instruments. Ukrainians call Taras Shevchenko our one of the famous writer and poet and in the same time painter. So we call him Kobzar, it means like a prophet, because he was one of the first who wrote his books, not in uh, Old Slavic language, not in Latin or Polish or other language, but he wrote in, let's say, that time, village language, you know what is Ukrainian language. Like, he wrote his books and poems in language what people were spoken. Kobzar is the name of his first book, like, complex of uh, many uh, poems. You can also check about biography of Taras Shevchenko. He was a slave, very smart person. Actually, he lost his parents when he was very young. Then he was a like, slave boy who traveled a lot with his owner. When he was around 26, in 1840, he became a free man and then he published his first book. Anyway, Russian Tsar regime destroyed his uh, destiny, uh, his life, because they sent him uh, to deportation in Kazakhstan, another part of Russian Empire, where he spent uh, many years and became sick, and he died when he was 1860. So please make order. I will. I will make uh, also in the description of the video um, Amazon links for all books that I recommend. Second uh, writer is uh, Oksana Zabushko. And she's writing nowadays. Uh, so uh, in, 19, in 1990s she uh, was a a guest uh, for a few universities in the United States of America, first Penn University in Philadelphia, then Pittsburgh, uh, and also, if I'm not mistaken, New York, and she went to Harvard University, so Boston, and so on. She speaks very good English and Polish and other languages. Anyway, very strong woman. Mm, great. I am very happy I met her uh, a few times. Woman who holds so much wisdom, the person who, who is the holder of wisdom. So, there are two books, even three books, um, translated into English. I will recommend you two books of Zabushko, uh, which are available in English. So, one of the famous, her book, first feministic and women uh, book in Ukraine, uh, Field Work of Ukrainian Sex. I recommend this book and my best a book of uh, Oksana Zabushko is Museum of Abandoned Secrets. It's a sa sag of Ukrainian family thing since 1944 until two, 2004. If you have less information about Ukraine, this book will, which I recommend. Actually, one of my American friend, Mr. Tom, greetings for you is reading right now uh, 
uh, book that um, I advised and gave him. Then I recommend you intellectual and writer poet from my native uh, town, my student town, Ivano Frankivsk, Yuri Andruhovich. So there are a few uh, novels uh, written by him in English. I recommend you 12 Circles and Recreations and Muscoviat. It's yeah, very thinkful and you, ha you have to check this uh, author as well. Next author, of course, Serhii Jadan. Everybody must uh, read uh, his poems, uh, his poetry, his novels. So I recommend uh, Depeche Mode, also Vorshelov Hrad, but of course Orphanage, uh, where a writer um, describes uh, the war in eastern Ukraine, which started in, two, in 2014. Serhii Jadan was born in eastern uh, Ukraine, so he feels, he knows exactly the mentality of Ukraine, lo lo local people. Uh, by the way, uh, you can also watch a uh, movie uh, based on the book Vorshelovgrad called The Kepole. Uh, you should read also books uh, written by Ivan Franco, our second the most famous uh, writer. There are uh, Zahar Berkut and Fox Makita and so on in English and Lesya Ukrainka as well. Very interesting book. Uh, it's written by Ukrainian. Actually, she became an American. So uh, Maria Savchin. Uh, she was a fighter of Ukrainian insurgent army against uh, Red Army against Soviet, which occupied uh, Ukraine. Then she ran away in a thousand of roads and also in other memoirs by another fighter of Ukrainian insurgent army, Luba Komar. Mm, please read these books. And I also recommend um, Timothy Snyder's uh, book, uh, Bloodland, uh, The Euro Between Hitler and Stalin, and also an Applebaum. Uh, in Ukraine, organized by Stalin. Actually, um, it was a genocide. Uh, for the end, I would recommend you also to use um, uh, internet source uh, of electronic books called Diasporiana. Majority of uh, books are in Ukrainian, but there are many books uh, in uh, and articles in English and French and Spanish. So that all these books were published by Ukrainian diaspora through the world. So if you are interested in, about Ukraine, if you uh, want to get uh, more information about Ukraine, read uh, fiction written by Ukrainians, uh, read uh, history of Ukraine, think, analyze, learn something new. Be brave as Ukraine.